Hello YouTube, Minecraft Festus here, and today I'm back with another Redstone Saturday video. This one is kind of interesting because I'm not actually going to be giving a tutorial on this. It's not my best contraption, it's kind of messy. Not very structured thing, I'm just going to show you it currently. So this is blank wall, but when you pl place down this lever and you flick it, boom, bit of lag. But this amazing hidden stairway opens and it clears a nice way for you to go through. Now, the reason I'm not going to be showing you how to build this is because it's not really that organized. It's kind of redstone all over the place. I didn't really intend this video to be teaching you how to build this I because I could, but it wouldn't make any sense. It would be a terrible video. So um, I, I'm just going to showcase this to you, show you how it works. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, down at the bottom here, we sort of have, well, essentially, the way this works is you can place your lever I, either here, here, or here, and obviously up on the top. So, you could technically place it right here. It will do the same thing as you can see right there. Same right here. Yeah. Um, and basically, what happens is it powers that redstone, and from there, what it does is it powers both of these pistons. Now, these are the pistons that place, that place blocks right here and here. So, these are like the first stepping stones for when you go up the hidden staircase. And then, we have the redstone power something over here. And what this does is this pushes up sort of the second step that you stand on right here. And so, then you sort of have this little staircase right here. This is the very simple part of the contraption. But I'm, a get about, but I'm about to get into the sort of complicated and super unorganized part um so i have this kind of cool little door right here so when you step up this i just have this thing right here which basically gives you the space to walk through there as you can see if i uh can power this right here it opens up this little door right here and the rest of the contraption is that door now that sounds really easy but it it, it, it wasn't Believe me, I wasn't. I wasn't building off any design whatsoever. I was kind of. I mean, I know it's based off sort of the classic jab door, but I, I, I was really. I was totally improvising when I built this. Um. So as you can see, after it goes through there, it goes up here, and what it does is so this first section powers um um these um uh e, or, or no sorry right over here. It what happens is it pulls a bunch of pistons here design this right up here um, essentially I'm sort of building off this little idea right here so basically um, it's um, so the idea is this when it's um fully stretched out it will look a bit like this right here if you can see um, and this is sort of the wall level right here right there now what my thing needs to do is it needs to be able to open up this door. And the way it does that is it starts by unpowering these pistons right here. Like that. And then it unpowers these. So that it all comes in and you could walk your way. So the I need I need to do that. But it's not that simple. I need to make it A fit the space and B have no pud and B have no bud powering issues like powering other redstone or such. So, for so by default these are both powered, but um um but when the circuit continues it goes up to here. It first um turns off uh it first turns off this um uh it first turns off this right here. It first turns off these these pistons right here, and so as you can see I'm gonna go over here, and right so that's the pistons right there. And I believe the way I do that, right, I have this circuit right here, which goes up, and that unpowers them. It goes through a knock gate, so that when that is powered, that unpowers and it um, pulls those inwards. Then, um, I have to pull these inwards after. That's fairly simple to do, and the way I do that is I run the circuit up like this, a bit like this. Now, since... This happens after that. I need to add a bit more delay right here. So as you can see, two ticks instead of the one tick leading into over there. Then that runs up a bit like that. Goes through a knot gate and unpowers those, therefore. 
I'm not sure if you totally stayed with me there because this is a bit of a weird contraption. It's really not like one of those little compact elevators or like that or a combination lock. I built another video. It's not compact. It's really redstone all over the place. That's partially why I'm not doing a tutorial for it, but it kind of works fully. I spent like an hour and a half just trying to work out that door and it shouldn't have taken me that long because I should have just watched a video teaching you how to make a door like that, but I kind of made that myself. But as you can see, it works like this fully. So I'm going to go around if you want to see a bit more how it works, uh, recap sort of. So this is the bottom part. Uh, you place your lever up on top of one of those, then that wires up and powers that piston. Then first it goes over there and unpowers um, and uh, unpowers this right over here and um then next it goes for the two tick and unpowers that right here to pull that in that's sort of how this whole thing works it's um it's very very simple well, kind of simple um little staircase way that you could sort of have to your base um i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video uh leave a like comment subscribe and i'm out i'll see you guys later